but you weren't cinema. So this is the second time I'm gonna be talking about some more 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now I am recording this audio fairly late from when I originally 100% of Bowser's Fury. So I am sorry that this video took so long, but where I completed it and when I completed it, I got to work on the video and I couldn't record audio, so that sucks. But now I'm here recording the audio for the video so it'll get out to you guys as soon as possible. You guys should be seeing this video on President's Day or February 15th. It, President's Day for the US or if you're anywhere else, then just February the 15th, a normal Monday. But, yeah. This... Bowser's Fury was an amazing experience. I highly recommend playing it. And definitely playing it a couple times. It is amazing. I have fully 100%ed it now twice. It is definitely 100% completed. It is the best 3D Mario game. No, not the best. Probably 9 out of 10. Odyssey was amazing. And Galaxy is still my favorite because I grew up with it. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about definitely do it. Because it's just, it's such a big game. It, it's amazing. The whole Giga Bells and Giga Cat Mario and the versus 3000. It's just, it's so good. You gotta play. It's amazing. So now, I'll start talking about the completion rewards. So, what you get for getting all 100 cat shines is you get an exclusive final boss. It's basically the original final boss, except you get to do it again. But there's a twist. Well, white Fury Bowser. Yeah, it's def it's a harder version than the original boss fight, but if you know what you're doing, you can probably get it over with pretty quickly. But it is still a hard fight, and it still will take you quite a bit, because this man's health is doubled of what it originally was in the, in the original final boss. Definitely use your cat dives. Usually use very close cat dives to really get it over with. And definitely use the pillars that he throws down at the beginning. Start throwing them at him to knock him on his back. And then just cat dive into his stomach. It works every time. You'll probably get it done. But yeah, the first phase is just the same. It's just more of the same. But once you get it over with, Bowser just flies back. He's just, he gets pretty badly damaged. He lands on the ground. Same as before. Then just bleh. All of the goop just spews through his mouth. He explodes and then just big waterfall. But the sky doesn't clear up. Same as before, Bowser Jr. is pretty concerned about his dad. He goes over to check it out and well and jump scare. It's it it yep. It's just big boy boozer. Normal boozer. I mean, he's better, but he's got hero brown eyes, and he's uh, he's still pretty mad. And then he just freaking takes the three Giga Bells once again. I mean, does he absorb them? I mean, seriously? No. No, he doesn't. He just puts them in an orb and keeps them from you. So you are forced to fight this big, big boy as itty bitty Mario. I mean, are you kidding? How are you supposed? What? Well, you get on back a plussy. There is no cat plussy, and then you just dodge his attacks. At first, it's just a couple of fires, and then it just turns into good grief. And then once you deliver the final blow, well, the Giga Bells are released. He gets knocked on his back, and then, well, just like in the original first ending, you and Plessy absorb the Giga Bells, and then just. Serenity. I had to let that play. That was a marvelous moment. 
I think everyone died laughing the first time they saw that. So the Bowser explodes into fireworks, big shocker, he does that every time. And then, the sun is a cat, what? How does that happen? Because everything in Bowser's Fury is cat, everything here on Lake Lab Cat is cats. And then you get, well, spoiler alert, the exact same final cutscene. It is the exact same. I mean, it's it's the it's the exact same. There are no differences whatsoever. It's the same. Bowser's like going over, just still angry at Mario. Literally nothing different about it. It is the same. Nothing different. You cannot get. It's it's the same. I mean, well, what did you expect? It would, and then it's like, yay! They're on the back of Giga Pla Cat Plessy. Alright, it's finally time to see. What did I get for completing this game? What did I get? It. Oh, you gotta be kidding! It, it, it's just a freaking picture! You gotta be kidding! Why? Well, that was disappointing. But, on the right side, you also get two pretty cool skins. You get a Giga Cat Mario skin for the cat suit in for the remainder of Bowser's Fury. Even though there's nothing left, you just kind of get to run around as Giga Cat Mario. But small. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty weak, but I mean, it's pretty cool. And then there's also Meowser Jr., which is very cool to see Bowser Jr. as Meowser Jr. And, he, and also the Koopa Clown car has got little whiskers. Very nice. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's my review on 100% Bowser's Fury. But I will... If you didn't pay attention to the spoilers, then you just got spoiled the whole fun of the end of Bowser's Fury. So, sorry about that if you didn't listen. Anyway, see you guys later. Peace.